Hi, my name is Raymond Chan. I'm a product manager here at Ritsu. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about one of the most common reasons why you have poor measurements in the field. Sometimes when you're out in the field, your measurements come out okay, fine. And then the wind blows and all of a sudden your measurement looks bad. You know, what is the reason for this? You know, most common people response is, oh, something wrong with the machine. However, typically that's not the case. And most common culprit is actually your uh, test cable. Your test cable is something like this, which connects from your port all the way to your device under test. And these cables matter greatly when, if, when doing your measurements, especially in the field. And one of the best type of cables for the using for measurement, measurement is actually what, is, what I have right here, which is known as a semi-rigid cable. And the reason why this cable is actually the best is because it's extremely phase stable. Why is it phase stable? Well, once I get into a, position, a specific shape, the electrical length does not change. So it doesn't get affected by it. However, as you can see here, this is not very practical for the field use. You have something here, what is known as a phase stable cable and as a recognized cable. So these are recognized end type connectors, which are perfect for out in the field. And what makes them different, like the semi-rigid cable is, as you can see here, these cable here is flexible. However, unlike typical cables, these are phase stable. In other words, when you move them, the electrical length doesn't change that much and your measurements will not get affected that much. And when you're out in the field and moving around the instrument, this is invaluable piece of equipment. Some people might feel the need is, why do I need that? Some people can just make their own cable. And to some degree, this does functionally same as this one right here. And this was, I made this here in the office with a couple of N-type connector adapters and a SMA cable. And initially, you know, in the lab environment, you know, when this is not moving, I can perhaps get a decent uh, measurement results. However, I will show you why this is not really good for the field. Another reason why this is not as good as these phase stable cable here, as you can see, if you look at the uh, spec sheet, um, this is actually rated uh, for return loss for a specific uh, measurement. So you can actually know what this test standard to. Since we do not have a uh, spec sheet for this, since I created it, I'm gonna use a standard of uh, minus 15 dB. So pretty much anything above minus 15 dB is gonna be a poor measurement for this cable. And I'm gonna show you um, how to test your port extension cable and how to determine if it's good or not in the, for field use. And you should probably use this every time before you uh, connect it um, to go out in the field. I've attached the homemade cable to the VNA master right now. And the first thing I'm gonna do is actually set up the limit here. Here for this case, I'm gonna set it to minus 15 since this is a homemade cable. But whenever you are testing yourself, check with the spec sheet and see what the limits are. The spec sheet will normally tell you the frequency range and what is the acceptable return loss measurement. Once I have set the limit, I'm gonna save this current trace into memory. Keep in mind, this cable right now is laying flat on, on the table and not moving. Once I've saved it, I'm going to display both the trace memory and the active trace. From here, I start moving the cable around and see if it is phase stable. As you can see, there is some movement as I move the cable. As I keep moving the cable, I notice at certain angles, the phase measurements becomes extremely unstable. And I keep playing around with the cable until I see that at this angle right here just now, the cable is definitely above minus 15 and it's not usable. As you just saw, initially the cable passed our initial test, but once I moved the cable around, the measurements exceeded 15 dB and in some cases even uh, above zero. So this cable will give you a very uh, poor measurement, especially if you calibrate it to the end of it when using in the field, and especially when you're moving around or it's windy. And this is the reason why it's important to test your cable before you use it. Whenever in doubt and you're getting poor measurements, one of the main culprit is your port extension test cable. And it's very easy to do just to do a S11 or a return loss measurement to determine how well your cable is performing. And especially with our cables, you can always look it up at our spec sheet and compare and see how well it is doing. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching and please subscribe. Thank you.